Hey everybody, welcome back to Photography Schoolhouse and I just wanted to do a short video on a question that comes up from time to time. Um, I'm going to show you how I like to both sharpen and brighten eyes. And you can see that in this headshot of this young man that um, he wants this image and this image you can probably see some softness around the eyes. In fact, I'll try and zoom in a little bit so you see it a bit better. So his beard is in sharp, in sharp focus, but his eye is just subtly out of focus. So here's what I do, and there's probably a dozen other ways of doing this, but I like to select the lasso tool, lasso tool, and I just circle one eye, then I make sure up at the top that it's on uh, this double, this add to selection icon. So I can now circle the second eye, including the eyelashes. And don't worry about being careful. You can be really sloppy about this. No big deal. So once I've got them selected, I do a control J to put them on a different layer so they look like this. And then I immediately make a second layer like so. So going back to the first layer, I'll leave that off just so you can really see what's going on here. So with this, I'm simply going to go to Image, Adjustments, Shadows, and Highlights. And I don't want to, in the case of lightening an eye, I certainly don't want to increase the highlights because you can see that that's going to darken them. So I do want to lighten the shadows. So I'll just move this out of the way. And particularly on uh, this eye, his left, our right, you can really see where the shadow is being adjusted. Now there's a propensity I find, I go too far with this and that's okay. Don't get too nuts about this because we can fix that in the next step. So when I'm, in fact, I may intentionally go a little bit over bright. So I'm gonna go with that. And then on the next layer up, I'm going to go into filter other high pass. Now we've done other videos in the past about um, sharpening methods and a lot of people tend to use unsharp mask um, and that's fine. It does a reasonable job most of the time but for really fine detail I prefer the high pass. Now I'm shooting in um, this is high resolution JPEG that this was shot in and I haven't resized it yet. Ultimately, it will be resized to an 8x10, but um, I find usually for um, the radius in pixels, somewhere around a 5, you know, like anywhere from a 3 to a 7, I guess, but 5 seems to work out most of the time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I can turn the bottom layer, the layer underneath it on. Um, and then select the blending mode of the top layer to overlay. Now what happens if you had left this turned off, you think that the um, overlay isn't working when in fact it is. You just have to make sure the layer underneath it is turned on so it has something to overlay against. And then I can turn on the whole image and this clearly looks overdone. And that's fine. So what I'm going to do is adjust the sharpening first. Um, I'm going to click on the sharpening layer and I'm going to select a mask, select my brush tool at 100% and a black over white. I'm going to go in and I'm going to erase the part of the mask that is the white part of the eye so that we don't see blood vessels as much. We return them to normal. But we leave the sharpening on the eyelashes in this case and on the iris, of course. Um, and I can turn that on and off to demonstrate. If you look at his lashes, it's particularly noticeable there. So on, off, you can see it's really done a great job. But also the detail in the iris and the color in the iris, very good as well. So we've got that the way we want it pretty much. Now let's... Uh, turn that layer off, we'll just select the uh, lightening layer, we'll add a mask to that, select the brush tool at 
and I can start brushing out with this black, selecting the black layer or the black brush over the white brush, I can start returning his skin to normal while leaving the eye nice and bright. So I just carefully paint the skin tones back in. Then I can turn the sharpening back on and that's what I've got. Now, here's something I find when I'm in really close like this, and right now I'm at 50%, um, I don't really get perspective on whether I've overdone it or not. So I like to back off a little bit. And when I look at the whole thing, to me this the brightness particularly is way overdone. So all I need to do is click on the brightness layer, go up to opacity, and then slide that back. So here's all the way off, and then I can just bring it up until I see some brightness in the eyes, but I'm not going nutso like that. Um, so I'm probably going to leave it somewhere in here, which is only about 30%. That's why I wasn't really worried when I did the uh, when I did the the brightening. And I said, you know, don't worry about it. You can go overboard because we can fix it in this step. And then the same thing with sharpening. If I felt it was ridiculously sharp, I could simply click on that layer and reduce that as well. So that's with no, whoops, that's with no sharpening. That's with sharpening. So I'm kind of happy with that. The way it looks right there, all I need to do is I right click on this, go merge visible. And then I would continue on with the rest of my retouching blemishes and, uh, and whatnot, although he's pretty good. So anyways, little thing on sharpening and brightening eyes. Um, thanks for watching.